Hey guys, this is the map of uh, fluid mechanics. Here we have uh, fluid mechanics at the center and three main branches. I have created this map using the, my, the Miro tool, which is a free online tool to create such concept maps. The first branch is about the governing equations. The next one is about the solution methods to find results of a solution of the governing equations. And the last one is about the physical results. So when uh, we speak about the governing equations, the first part is the language, the mathematical language needed to write equations, to manipulate them. So the first part, you have to learn how to, uh, to work with tensors as uh, elements of tensor algebra, or at least the Cartesian tensor algebra. The next one is the vector operators, for example, the gradient, the Laplacian, the divergence, the dyadic product, the double dot product, and many other important vector operators. And the third one is the linear algebra. For example, you have to know how to compute the transpose of a matrix or its inverse. What is the Jacobian and the eigenvalues? Uh, what is uh, uh, what is the importance of eigenvalues, the invariance of a matrix, three main invariants, and many other parts of the linear algebra. The other parts include the integral theorems, such as the curl theorem, the Green's theorem, the divergence theorem, the Leibniz rule, and the Schwartz rule, um, and different forms of using them in three-dimensional problems or in two-dimensional problems. And the last one is uh, the curvilinear coordinates, for example, the polar coordinates or the spherical coordinates and many other curvilinear orthogonal co coordinates. This, uh, this part is devoted to the mathematical language. Don't forget that we are speaking about the uh, governing equation. The next branch or sub-branch of this part is the constitutive relations, which are of uh, the building blocks of governing equations. The first one is the Stokes hypothesis. All of these concepts are related to the constitutive relations, which help us to uh, to obtain the final governing equations using the basic conservation laws such as the energy equation, the conservation of linear momentum or the conservation of angular momentum. The, 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 uh, then we have different types of pressure, for example, thermodynamic pressure, the mechanical pressure, the uh, static pressure, characteristic pressure, dynamic pressure and many other. The second coefficient of viscosity is one of um, vague concepts in this part. We have two coefficients of viscosity. The first uh, one is the shear viscosity and the second one is the bulk viscosity. And the non-Newtonian fluids are a um, very important part of this section. Uh, we have time dependence or uh, non Newtonian fluids or the you know, non Newtonian fluids with the yield stress, or pow the other type is uh, powders and viscoelastic fluids, complex fluids, or uh, then the second order fluids and the second gradient. All of these are different types of uh, non Newtonian fluids, and uh, definitely we have many other types. The, the other part of the governing equation is the boundary conditions. Uh, we have the periodic boundary condition, Navier's slip, con slip condition, which uh, can be used in superhydrophobic surfaces, for example. Then uh, the Maxwell slip condition for gases, the, the Navier's slip condition is for um, liquids, and the Maxwell slip condition is used for gases. The Stokes no slip condition, the interface, the condition uh, for the interface of two liquids, for example, or a gas and a liquid, the jumped temperature, the symmetry condition, the, uh, and the FSI problem, fluid structure interaction, we have a deforming solid near a 
moving fluid. So we have to apply a boundary condition on the interface and many others. This part is uh, related to the governing equations. The next one is the, uh, devoted to the continuum principle. You have to know the Lagrangian and Eulerian frameworks, the nuts and number, and its importance for the definition of different regimes of continuum mechanics, types of material, for example, orthotropic, isotropic, and you have to know how to compute the weak form of the governing equations and the weakly compressible form of the navier stokes equations and the conservation and non-conservation forms of the laws. Again, the governing equations, we have uh, the continuity equation, the navier stokes the angular momentum and the energy equation, and also the second law of thermodynamics, you have to, um, you have to compute the strain rate tensor, the stream function, and you, uh, you, the difference between the stream function and the potential function, the arbitrary Lagrangian Eulerian formulation, the Coriolis term in the navier stokes equation, the natural convection term in the navier stokes equation, the dissipation term in the energy equation, the Lorentz force in, uh, for example, magnetohydrodynamics applications, the surface tension or uh, uh, term, and the Bernoulli's equation as a simple uh, limiting case of the navier stokes equation. And the last one in this section is the dimensionless numbers. You, uh, you should uh, be familiar with different important dimensionless numbers. The first group uh, is devoted to the dimensionless numbers, which are used as pre-processing numbers, for example, the specific heat ratio. The other group is the post-processing dimensionless numbers, for example, the drag coefficient, the lift coefficient, the power coefficient, used in the fluid mechanics, heat transfer, and thermodynamics. This is the first part of this huge map. The second branch of this map is devoted to the solution methods, uh, the methods you use to find the results. The first section is the analytical methods. We have different analytical tools, for example, the similarity solution, the, or the separation of variables, the perturbation method, the grains function, the integral theorems, the method of characteristics, the variational solution, and the power series. The other section is devoted to the numerical methods. You have to, uh, to be familiar with the numerical analysis basics and then the grid generation, uh, um, parallel processing, or the high performance computing is an important building block here. The next one is uh, the category, different categories of the numerical methods. We have macro scale, micro scale, and meso scale numerical methods. Macro scale, for example, the finite difference, finite element, finite volume, spectral methods, the difference quadrature method or DQM, immersed boundary method, the level set method, and the Lagrangian mesh free or mesh -less methods such as the SPH smooth particle hydrodynamics, the vertex method, and the boundary element method. The last one is uh, the mesh, uh, meshless method. And uh, we have micro scale numerical techniques such as the molecular dynamics or the density functional theory. And the last one is the mesoscale, which, uh, for example, the lattice Boltzmann method, the direct simulation Monte Carlo, and the dissipative particle dynamics. Also, we can use the experimental approach to obtain the results. For example, uh, in this section, you need to be familiar with the sensors, different actuators, and experiment, uh, the experiment design, and uh, many other concepts. This is the second part. The third one is uh, about the uh, physical results. Yeah, so uh, we have different classifications or different classes of the re physical results. For example, the statics, fluid statics, or the rigid body rotation, which the creeping flows, uh, which are uh, inertialess flows. For example, the low Reynolds number flows, or um, any types of uh, fluid flow which uh, has zero inertia. 
uh, we have two categories which are the Reynolds lubrication theory and the Stokes flow. This one is the internal flow and the second one is about the external flows. We have the Stokes paradox here. The next one is the turbulent flow. We have different approaches to model the, um, the secret of <laughs> physics or the turbulent flows and uh, the direct numerical simulation the larger dissimulation the very larger dissimulation the detached dissimulation the Reynolds average navier stokes and the u rens or the honesty the Reynolds average navier stokes equation these are all uh, the different approach to mold the turbulent flows reactive flows such as uh, the combustion uh, the fuels and the uh, flows involving with fuels and burning of fuels and internal combustion engines gas turbines and many other applications or batteries uh, the other section is about the mass transfer um, in applications like the phase separation mixing or computing the salinity uh, in um, for example ocean flows we have applications with micro or nano flows in microfluidic or MEMS or NEMS and uh, uh, in in such cases the net number is is uh, larger than expected so the, you cannot use the classical or the traditional governing equations and you have to use um, some modern um, numerical tools such as the lattice Boltzmann method or the molecular dynamics on or many other or even the Schrodinger equations in uh, quantum mechanics in energy related applications such as the flow over um, a solar chimney or the flow around a piece of beam which can generate electricity environmental fluid mechanics or the or pollution climate change uh, geophysical flows which are related to the earth and large scale atmospheric flows we have the Coriolis uh, acceleration in such applications. Porous media, uh, for example, again, the batteries or the skin or different bio, different bio uh, biological cases or the living tissues. The next one is the compressible flows. Uh, shockwave capturing is one of important challenges in this category. Hypersonic flows supersonic flows uh, subsonic flows and the water hammer is again another is a um, well-known application of compressibility in liquids and uh, we have a very well-known theorem here which is the Kirchhoff's theorem this theorem relates to important parameters in fluid mechanics which are the, the vorticity entropy uh, in the uh, second law of thermodynamics and then we have the transition or the instability of uh, transition is to um, change the or laminar flow to the turbulent flow and instability is to is the growth of uh, an initial disturbance multi-phase flows um, the oil we have different applications in uh, for example solid in liquid application solid in gas application or gas liquids applications and uh, different type techniques of modeling are the eulerian eulerian the mixture model the volume of fluid the eulerian lagrangian for example the cavitation is one of important cases of liquid gas two-phase flow or even three-phase flows multi-phase flows and phase change materials other applications are hierarchistics and involving noises. Noise is the unwanted sound. For example, in turbo machinery, HVAC and uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, and clean rooms, turbo machinery, plasma flows, traffic flow, which is a subcategory of compressible flows to predict the flow of cars in the streets, and vorticity dynamics. Uh, vorticity dynamics which which discusses the differences between vorticity and circulation the vorticity equation 
And the free surface flows, for example, the shallow water equation, which is a subcategory of the free surface flows, and the internal flows or piping systems, the external flows or the boundary layer theory, the flight mechanics and aerodynamics, polar fluids, for example, dipolar fluids, micropolar, ferroelectric, ferromagnetic, and smart fluids, interdisciplinary fields uh, such as the uh, connection of the fluid mechanics with the electrodynamics, elasticity, and biological flows, for example, the blood flow, manufacturing, um, the manufacturing and production such as die cast um, and many other different types of manufacturing uh, which deal with liquids or gases sports engineering toys engineering and uh, computer graphics uh, in anime hollywood um, produced animations for example and the uh, last one is other other modern aspects such as the non-local fractional mechanics information theory and connection of the fluid mechanics with information theory game theory or virtual and augmented reality applications artificial intelligence stochastic mechanics quantum mechanics we have the madelung's equation here and relativistic fluid mechanics in high speeds near the speed of light and finally we have a, um, a type of minor classification for fluid flows based on the driving force if the driving force is the surface tension force we call such flows the marangoni flows if the driving force is the pressure difference the flow is quasi flow and uh, the if the flow is shear driven the, it's called the quit flow and uh, we have the gravity driven flows and the density driven or the turbidity current flows the lorentz driven flows in for example the magneto aerodynamics application and the sound wave driven flows are called the acoustic streaming and this is the Reynolds axis we have different regimes and applications of uh, fluid flow on this curve uh, this is the Reynolds uh, uh, number which starts from zero here and um, reaches infinity and we have the creeping flows near the left uh, limit of the curve and then uh, the boundary layer theory appears here yeah, in in this part of the curve we have to use the cfd um, tools no other choice but here we have the boundary layer theory and instability starts here and the flow uh, starts to become turbulent and transition uh, appears the inverse of transition is called the relaminarization and turbulence starts from here and when the Reynolds approaches infinity we have the potential flow